And that's the topic we're going to talk about. Today is a huge day mm-hmm. in in the city of Birmingham. Uh, ESPN is pushing this whole thing. And, I mean, they're doing a really good job. And the more that you got the Birmingham, Cardinals, man. the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, playing the San Francisco Giants in the Rickwood Field, which is historically has been – a field for the uh, old Negro League back in the day. And they're playing a, a, a game, a real game there um, this evening. And uh, a lot of people are so excited about it. And the backdrop to this was this is going to be honoring the great, and I mean the great, Willie Mays, we said mm-hmm. yesterday. Unfortunately, I mean, he couldn't make it initially because of health concerns. Uh, then subsequently he passed. Mm-hmm. But uh, prior to – uh, saying that he could make it, he sent out a couple of um, sent out some really nice, uh, just some words uh, that uh, I want to share with you guys. It, it was it was it was pretty pretty good. He said, "This is called Birmingham, Birmingham. This is May's message. Birmingham, Birmingham. I wish I could, I wish I could be with you all today. This is where I'm from. I had my first pro hit there uh, at Rickley Field, uh, at Rickwood, uh, at Rickwood." As a baron in 1948, and now this year, 76 years later, it finally got counted in the record book. <laughs> that's that's another thing, you know. They, they're gonna add those uh, Negro League baseball. Yeah, stats. I'm curious to see where his, where his home run total is gonna be mm-hmm. after that. Some things take time, but I always <laughs> I always think better late than never. Time changes things. Time heals wounds, and that is a good thing. I had some of my, I had some of my best times in life in Birmingham. Homeboy. So I want you to have this clock. He gave him a clock and sent a clock in. I want you to have this clock to remember those times with me. <laughs> and to remember all the players, the other players who are lucky enough to have played here in Rickwood Field. Remember, I love this one in time is on your side. That's what he says. Mm. That's how he ended it. Willie Mays, who was born in Westfield, like right there for where I was born. Right. I mean, it's just crazy. And Rickwood Field right there off of Third Avenue West, Best Best Super Highway. Just so again, just watching. Uh, I'm not sure they're gonna broadcast. They probably bro- it may be on television today. It'd be great. But the mayor uh, of Birmingham is is uh, doing a huge tribute to him as well. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot going on. His son's gonna be there. Reggie Jackson's gonna be there. Bobby uh, Barry Bonds gonna be there. So it has some really. Uh, uh, Ken Griffin Jr. is gonna be there. Mm-hmm. All these individuals are going to be down in Birmingham, so I think that's a that's a good thing. That is a good thing. It yep. gives you chills yep. to to hear you read what he wrote yes. and thinking that he wasn't going to be there for some other right. reason, yes. but really he wasn't going to be there. Right? You know, it's just then we said, remember, time is on your side. That's, he said mm. a clock to, uh, just to commemorate the day they was doing for him and and the whole Negro League baseball day. That's mm. that's special. Mm. Very that's special. special. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is, um, like I said, I said it yesterday. It's, it's just, I, he was iconic, and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because of the era in which all of this takes place, all of this, you know, his his career, where the country was at the time, yep. where relations were at the time in this country, um, playing baseball in the South in Birmingham, right? And mm-hmm. if you're from the South, you understand. What Negro League baseball meant to African Americans and African American and men, in particular, yeah, in the South, yeah, right. So it, it was like it's just iconic in a sense to see him, to see, just to think about his career, the arc of his career, and mm. the arc of his life, and it's just it's just iconic just to think about his impact on the world and society. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, it's it's they're doing this huge. Mural him downtown, and um, it's just a. And, then, and again, to your point, nine seventy six years later, uh, he's ninety three years old, and you know they're they're, they're gonna do do some for him. So while I was at home last time, my my cousin, I uh, was like, yo man, uh, you give me some media pass to to the events. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I said, I said I'm gonna see if I can work out. But I, I mean, I, I totally forgot about it. But yeah, he was saying it's gonna be a big deal. Who know? Who knew that? With the maze would pass a day, a couple of days before it's supposed yeah, to happen. Yeah, that's. Mm. Yeah, well. He said time is. Yeah. On his but, side. But yeah. I always like to, go, you know, and I think we ask this question, at least I do all the time. If you, in that era, did they see 
what it, what, the way it ended up being, did you know, did they feel that at the time? Mm. I'm not sure they did or didn't. I don't know. But, like, if we had to take a look at, at in our era, mm-hmm. who's our Willie Mays? Yeah. And, and mm. great question. Where is our Willie Mays? Yeah, yeah. Great uh, question. Uh, you know, it, and that's been debated a lot in the last couple of days. And, and I, again, you know, baseball-wise, growing up, I was – I was a Braves fan because it was right there in Atlanta. That's all, yeah. that's all yeah. we had. Yeah. So, so, so my hero was Hank Aaron because of that. He, he's right there. And yep. But um, they said that the closest thing to him, the two people, and then and it, they were first of all, there's nobody playing right now that's closest thing to him. Mm-hmm. But the two people that that played uh, as recently uh, was uh, Ken Ken Griffey Jr. Mm-hmm. And, and and Barry Bonds. Yeah. Barry Bonds will be mine. Yeah, and, and ironically enough, both uh, all, everybody we talked about they they wore number twenty four for that reason. Mm. Think about that. And, and I said it yesterday. And Ken yeah. Griff, uh, and Ken Griffey Jr. and uh, Barry Bonds, their dad played in the in the, in exactly, the uh, yeah. it basically. I mean, play played. Right. So no, this is this this is our this is our guy over here. I mean, Dad, you right. cool? Yeah. yeah. But but, but, but this you know, is our guy over there. But but even Dad would say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Where, where's that? <laughs> That's better. Yeah, he didn't do. He did he, he, You're right about that. He didn't yeah. do. But Matt, to your question, I, I and I, I'm not that close to it. Like I, well, I've never been close to baseball, but I had my little heroes like I mm-hmm. mentioned, Hank Aaron. But I'm not that close to it now to say this guy. Yeah. Is yeah. the well, next with the maze. But just take it up a level. Who's on the field and off the field, in any sport, anywhere. Who's who's the who's the Willie Mays that we're gonna look that we're gonna honor in this era, 10, 20 years from now? Mm. Great question. Because keep Ho- in mind, hopefully they'll be ninety three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But think about that though. He's ninety three years old, and it's been a, a minute. It's been a minute since he's played, and people still say that he was oh all those years. Yeah. He's the best ever right. seen. And yeah. these so, are some people that. We think about, but he so who's, nobody greater. Okay, uh, here we go because he, he he gonna probably say uh, he won't <laughs> he won't say David Thompson. But but who is the uh, who is Hell the no. Willie Mays of of uh really Matt? Who's the Willie Mays <laughs> of uh of pro basketball? Uh, ooh, mm. pro basketball NBA Willie Mays. I, Somebody you look at and it, it said this guy could do everything. This guy, no. Somebody said the other day that he's per, he was a perfect baseball player. Nobody's greater. Who's the perfect basketball player, Aton? I know you got some people. A basketball, perfect. Basketball. Close currently who, or currently, yeah. That because Matt brought the question up. Karen, who can we look at to right now? And, and then who, who can we look at right now? And fifty years from now, we said uh, he was the best back in twenty twenty four, and still the best. Oh my goodness! Oh man! <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, we had to bring. We might have to bring that one back out there. <laughs> ah, man. Really? The we got to think about the that. The greatest, because you said there's nobody matching. Yeah, the people said he's it, perfect. Right. So who would be perfect? Because this, this guy had six hundred some home runs, X amount of stolen bases, and and then the kick is when he go in, in the outfield, there's nobody better than him Ooh. defensively. Ooh. You said mm. basketball, professional basketball. Yeah. Ooh. Who's the winning man of oh, professional basketball? Your now, boy, your boy, LeBron James. Oh, right, see, 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 you gonna make me cuss. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. <sighs> so, 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 thirty years from now, forty, fifty years from now, uh, eight times we say, "Oh man, that LeBron James was the best I've ever seen." Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. No. People are saying it now. Hell They're, no. They probably people, will. They, they in said it now. Be, who? No, people. People are all no. caught up on his stats. Yeah, not real people, real people season. that understand the game ain't saying that. Yeah, you, yeah. I don't, I don't Pam, know. I mean LeBron's great man, <laughs> yeah, but I, just, I don't, I don't see that. Are they gonna say that about hey, Michael? Tyler, is LeBron are they James saying better that than about Michael? No, no, I don't, no. This to you or not? Just, I mean, just man to man. Perhaps. Nobody, nobody's yeah. listening. Nobody's listening. <laughs> is LeBron James better than Michael Jordan? Maybe. I mean, I have to think about it. I have oh, to crunch the numbers. You're 22, my bad. I mean, any, cause anyone can but say that. About, but you got to think about what he just said. What did he just say? He said, maybe I think about it, I'll look at the numbers. Uh, see, that? see what I'm saying? See, yeah. I'm going be honest with you. We just had a conversation about Willie Mays. This country is having a couple. The world right. is having a conversation mm-hmm. about right. Willie Mays. Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. Numbers are last. Yes. Exactly. Right? Yep. I believe that if you want to have a conversation about 
this uh, this type of player or this type of impact. Right. Numbers are part of it, but it can't be what you lead with. Right. I had the most, you know, scoring point. I had the most rebound. You can't lead with that. Mm. You know, the lead in has to be. Yeah. We saw, we witnessed. Yes, sir. The greatest the we've greatest. ever seen. See, and, 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 and hold that thought. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm going to go right here. I'll be damned. I seen Micah do some stuff that we said, man, that. We witnessed it. We right. witnessed that. <laughs> <laughs> we looking at it. We like, whoa. I know. And, but but LeBron, yeah, I don't get, I didn't get that same feeling. Ooh. I said, LeBron, Le, LeBron is special because he's bigger and he's quick. He's a big guy that just plays like a smaller guy because he, he's that quick and that fluid. But he didn't do anything. And I said, wow. What? Really? Yeah, yeah Nothing. what? LeBron? 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 Yeah. They going in on YouTube. They, they're they saying hell no, but I don't know which one they're saying it to. LeBron's uh, yeah, or Michael. But, yeah, but wait, wait. <laughs> they, they say what, Pam? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bryant and Kendrick, but I don't know if they're saying hell no to MJ, because Bryant's got MJ, or I'm not sure. Uh I mean, I, 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 I try, I'm just trying not to be caught up on the yeah, MJ. Clarence Brown said MJ, yeah. On the MJ Hall of Fame tour. But reality is, <laughs> witnessing, it, we can't unsee what we saw. So well. so, so even right now, Mike hadn't played in whatever. And Mike, Mike he, you could land Mike in Europe right now, people lose their mind right now. Seriously. So my point is, what, 30, 40 years after LeBron has played, you're you going to still have an impact like that? You think? Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is, as A said, <laughs> that, that injures me. That, that injures me. Wait, I, wait, 1984. Wait, wait, it's been forty years, <laughs> and he's in the conversation. Michael, it's been forty years yes. since he went into and, the and, NBA. And that's that's my this, point. Forty yeah. years he he got drafted. Mm -hmm. and, well, I mean, LeBron wasn't drafted forty years ago, so I can't say that for him either. Ooh, wow, that's that's insightful. I mean, I get that. I mean, I understand that. Damn. I mean, LeBron just for hey, LeBron <laughs> is forty 40. years old. Is he forty? Well, think of, well, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 30, thirty-eight, yeah, thirty-eight. So. Think, but but also keep in mind one of the one of the factors in this debate or conversation we're having is is what you do today will it stand the test of time with the players that come behind you. Mm. Right, meaning, okay, MJ. You know, we got we got people uh, chiming in in their code name. Yeah, we got we got but, opinionated uh, people. Uh, but it's a it's a, it's an NBA player who played a long time said said Michael is is a perfect one in, in part of this conversation. So I mean, and, and he probably played against both of those guys. Wow, I agree. K